Hello, how y'all doing? Kurt Cool. Back on the scene. Oh yeah. I'm out here. Oh yeah. Enjoying life to the fullest, y'all. But it's one thing that I just enjoy doing. And that is exposing this coward narcissist, Patricia Robinson. I didn't do it to you. I mean, you got a narcissist, a narcissist woman out in Reno Valley, California. She thinks that she can use all her little narcissist abuse on Curdy Cool, but none of that stuff can't touch this. You cannot touch me, baby. Because I'm smooth and cool. You thought you had broke Curdy Cool down. You could never and will not never ever break Curdy Cool down. You know, we got people out here who tries to play on your weakness tries to play on you as a man to try to use the system to beat the system for their own little personal gain. Well, guess what, Patricia Robinson? I beat you at your own little game. I exposed this narcissist, y'all. Anytime a person makes a cowardly move on you, and then run and hide out, play the victim role, scamming SSI, scamming child support, all about what you can get. Now, it would be a different thing if this woman would own up. Hey, look, you know, what's right is right. I mean, you paying child support, you are doing everything to be a father over here. I mean, you deserve every right. But when there is a Mitch match with a coward narcissist who only try to play on people and play on their weakness and then create a whole lot of unstable narcissist, narcissism abuse, on people and tries to destroy his life, you could never destroy Curdy Cool's life. I'm too cool for that shit. I mean, I see you for who you are. You would never change, Patricia Robinson. You cannot be trusted. I mean, everybody, the whole entire world, see you for who you are. Like I said earlier, your family see you for who you are. COVID narcissists, you know what I mean? Who abuse people and run and hide out. I mean, of course you're going to hide out. You're too ashamed of yourself. She might be wearing everywhere a big old ass, total different head rag all over her ugly face. You know, hiding out. <laughs> I did not do this to you. I did not do this to this woman, y'all. She just did she just did not play her hand right. I mean, how does it feel now when the table turns and you expose a narcissist? Coward. A narcissist coward. Patricia Robinson. I only keep telling my true story out here, y'all. And I keep putting this, this wicked woman out here. I can never trust this big, ugly, string, stringy hair woman. She's a joke and a fake, baby. No empathy, no sympathy. You don't even know what is love. So now the world know and see that what you did to your husband, Patricia Robinson, 
He tried that same shit on Curtie Cool, but it backfired on you because Curtie Cool is now exposed and used all over the world, all over the world, baby. That was a low-down, dirty shame, what you did to your husband. You did not support your husband. You got a lot to pay for before the good Lord one day. But of course your hand is that you don't really care about what you do to people due to the fact of lack of empathy. So therefore, you keep on playing your little COVID narcissist hand. So Curdy Cool just keeps on exposing the narcissist. I mean, that's what you are. So I keep on shining that little spotlight on you and telling it like it is. And Curdy Cool just keep on looking good and keep on doing my thing out here, yeah, and showing to the world what this crazy woman is all about because she cannot and will not never ever mess Curdy Cool up in no kind of way because Curdy Cool will always be on top of his game talking about this little old narcissist, y'all. And I tell it the way it is about this wicked woman out here, yeah. Let me tell y'all something. Once you guys can recognize a narcissist person, I mean, they hate it to see that you stand out and that you are a survivor no matter what and that you stand strong no matter what and that you don't let anything bother you or mess your life up. You know what I mean? Y'all heard about that basketball player? Yeah. He got caught up. He was, he, he, I think he was with one of the Kardashians. He already had a kid or two. He fooled around with some, some chick. <laughs> she played up on him, y'all, and got pregnant. Now, I hear she's moving to California. She's already getting set up, yeah. All she care about is that money. And he's and he is bumping his gums about I don't want to have nothing to do with her if she had a baby. <laughs> How you sound, my brother? I mean it is what it is. I mean you are going to be paying big time, but you don't want to have nothing to do with the baby. You see how people is off beat? Now, why? Would a man of that status let a, let a little woman trick him and to doing his thing and get caught up in the act? Y'all know what I mean? How could you let yourself get caught up in the act? Now this woman is getting ready to get paid on you. And you talk about, I don't want to have nothing to do with her. You know, he's trying to get this woman to delete the pregnancy. <laughs> I feel sorry for you, bro, but you have messed up big time. These women out here, yeah, will get you. I'm telling you, when you are at least expected, you guys going to have to learn how to spot this kind of stuff. I mean, if you guys are not married and you guys haven't matched up with the perfect companionship, you spinning your wheels, baby. Because all it's going to be is that we put this baby on you. That's all she wrote. We want out. We just want to get paid. And live a carefree life, yeah. And just do our thing. Get all we can out of you, baby. And look for the next victim. You guys out here, y'all need to kind of smarten up out here. I mean, coming from old school, you know. Y'all need to smarten up and tighten up, baby. Y'all need to do the tighten up. Y'all need to go back to the table. And analyze the situation. Hey, is, is, is all this worth it? That you can't protect yourself? You got to let some little young woman mess you all up. <laughs> Yo, 
But see the 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 terrible part about it, like in my situation, a coward narcissist grandmother, a, a coward narcissist joke grandmother, who played on her daughter, <laughs> and it's and the sad part about it. But you know, I mean, it is what it is. She messed her own adopted daughter up. Got this girl all messed up in her mind. See, she did not mess me up. Y'all know what I mean? Curry Cool was not messed up. But she messed this adopted daughter up, y'all. Just to steal our baby and our kid. I would like to see the intake once my daughter grew up. And how this little thing is going to turn out once Alex turn 18, y'all. Y'all think Alex going to get up out of there? Or you think she going to whoop, 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 whoop? <laughs> you think he going to do that on me, huh? <laughs> hey, y'all, I'm just, I'm just out here talking, you know, because this stuff just kind of gets funny to me. I mean, this woman out here living this little joke lifestyle, and she thinks she is messing with Curry Cool. I'm smoother than ever. You can never break a smooth, cool person down that the good Lord has his hands on. And the good Lord shows me everything that's going on. I'm stronger than ever. So therefore, I keep on exposing and shining the light and putting your little ugly face out here. Patricia Robinson, all over the world, all over the world. You thought you was going to get a whole lot of money out of me, but you didn't. All that stuff backfired on you. <laughs> I tell you, that ugly woman thought she was going to be sitting big time, a big millionaire off of Curly Cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. She thought she was all dead in a bag of chills, but I beat her at her own little game, y'all. <laughs> I keep on exposing this big, ugly, baby scammer, coward, narcissist. Hey, y'all, it's Curtis Cool. I'm just out here telling my true story. Hopefully a lot of people will learn some things from old school Curtis Cool. I mean, I'm a happy man out here. I don't have no kind of stress on me about this crazy coward joke. Grandma? <laughs> you got to wake up every single day looking at Curdy Cool through my kid. <laughs> hey, yo, that's some funny stuff when up. But a coward narcissist pull all that craziness on you. And uh, he's got a kid that looks just like him. And she's got to look at my kid every single day looking just like me. <laughs> hey, uh, sometimes the good Lord know exactly how to deal with these coward abusers who have all these bad intentions of doing the wrong thing out here. This coward narcissist have to wake up every day and look at my daughter looking just like me. How you how you gonna how you going to escape route that Patricia Robson? You cannot and will not escape looking at me. You look at me every day looking at my kid. <laughs> the baby, the baby. I tell you, the good Lord has got a way of flipping things around on these coward people out here. Yeah. Oh, they think they got it all under control with the way they misuse and abuse people. And it it always be it always come right back in the face every single time. <laughs> I wanted to 
Share this story and expose this coward woman, Patricia Robinson. One more time, thanks for tuning in. Y'all be sure to subscribe and hit the bell. I'll see you guys in the next episode. I mean, I just keep on exposing this coward woman, Patricia Robinson, out in Marina Valley, California. Patricia Marsha Robinson. Marsha V. Robinson. Patty Robinson. Patricia Robinson. Pat Robinson. <laughs> All kind of alias names, y'all. Running and hiding like a coward. See, that is what a coward do, y'all. They know they have messed up so bad. They cannot face me. I don't want no contact with that big, ugly, stringy hair woman, y'all. That crazy woman, Patricia Robinson. I don't want no kind of contact with her. That is one crazy narcissist woman. And, uh, hey, in three, three years or so, my daughter would be out of there. But you think about it. God got you in the sense where you got to look at me every single day through my daughter. Now, how this stone cold narcissist going to deal with this? Huh? You think you so badass? The good Lord will work on your mind every single morning. And you wake up in the morning and you look at my daughter. Oh, I dogged this man. Oh, I scammed him. Oh, I mentally abused him. Baby mother, I mentally abused his kid. Now, I have to look at his daughter every single day looking just like him. Just like me, looking just like me. And see the beauty to it all. My daughter know that her father loves her. I don't really expect nothing at this point. I know for a fact that I'm getting a story out here and I keep on exposing this wicked witch whichever way the tables turn that's cool with me I'm not out here running nobody down it's just when you do people wrong out here and you think folks are going to just sit back and not say anything that that is not the way it work out here Patricia Robinson before I close, you need to step out of that back in the day mentality. You know, all, all that lifestyle, what happened? We're back in time, with slavery time, and all that kind of stuff, the way they did. My people, messing over our people, our kids, because of who they thought that they was back in those days. Did you not understand that this is a brand new day? Patricia Robinson? This is a brand new day. People is going to fight back. You may have feel like, okay, I got the best hand. But now it's set up in a sense where you, you're not hardly getting a whole lot of money out of me. You know, everybody see you for, for what you are. Big time scam artist. You know exactly what you were doing to your husband to mess him up. Big time scam artist. So you are a joke and will always be a joke. And I keep on exposing this scam artist, y'all. Patricia Robinson. Out in Marina Valley, California. Hope you guys enjoy the show. Y'all have a good one. Be blessed. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Curdy, 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 cool. Okay, bye.